All right, welcome back, everybody. So uh, this is the USA Thousand Islands map. And we may come back here. One thing I like is that right now the daily is to catch bluegill, which we can do right here off the dock. Uh, that's not what I want to look at. I want to look at the records. Uh, biggest bluegill, yeah, on Shiner Live Bait. It's actually kind of fun to go for those with Shiner Live Bait, but we definitely want to wait till morning. Look, it's almost nighttime. So, but that does put me in a weird place. Like, I think what I want to do to start off with is go to the new place. So this is Ukraine, the Dnepr River. It's based on a real place. I think this is the newest map that's been added, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go check out this map. I have only briefly fished here ever. Uh, I did come check it out briefly on my main account. There's a video on my channel, sort of first impressions, kind of seeing some stuff that's going on here. But um, I thought it'd be fun to explore this map a little bit, see what we can get into. Uh, first thing let's do is just kind of see what fish are on the lake and what we might be able to target at nighttime. So we want to take the daily quest. Uh, is there anything that from here that looks like stuff we might be able to catch at night? Well, rough, but we probably might want to do something different than that. And then the shop. Is there anything? Oh, yeah, look at this sea worm. So you get 10 for 50 silver. We'll get 10. That's a little pricey still for our blood, but um, looks like a pretty extensive list of lures which i still haven't like fully embraced spin fishing we need to do that we do have the rocket eight so we can spin fish for some stuff but we need to start thinking about getting like probably the katana x spin it goes up to 20 kilos this at least we could at least you know start trolling with that um, on some of the later maps. So, I mean, we're not there yet, but we do need to be sort of preparing for that. And of course, we still want to be working towards our uh, larger carp setups at some point, but all right, I'm not seeing anything else. Oh, look at that. Pro Farmer 3M. That is a nice fish tank. I'm not seeing a whole lot else new that we haven't seen with before. It's always interesting. I like this little touch. Food that's like different based on the map you're at. Sandwich with lard. I'm not sure about that translation, but is that really something? This map is in the Ukraine. I wonder if that's a real thing. All right. Okay, so let's look at the fish on the lake. Fish on the lake. Oh, this is a big list. Wow, look at this list. So this is the place that I think, um, as far as I know, in any fishing game I've played, first introduced the, uh, where is it? Turtle, the marsh turtle, right? Okay, so is there anything? Okay, so they have bream here. People are catching them on mollusk pieces. Does that mean that there's probably... Some kind of sterlet, yeah. Okay, those are some big sterlet. So sterlet bream, maybe something we could try to do. Uh, Xander would bite at night, potentially. I don't know. Um, all right, so where would we fish? This place is huge. I mean, theoretically, we want to go somewhere with some depth if we're going to go for Sterlet or Bream, I would think. Like, not right it here off this dock, maybe. I actually don't know. 
doesn't look like the depth, the, the deeper places are necessarily right close to any shore. You know, here to out there is going to be way farther than we're going to be casting right now, most likely. I bet you get, I wonder if you get an, an, actual, an extra travel spot on this map eventually. What does it look like out here? I mean, we could just set up with mollusk pieces and see if anything's biting here. So is it, you know, maybe even right here, even just casting in this direction. I, I, I don't know. I mean, all we can do is try, right? Let's go ahead and spawn a boat so that we have the ability to chase it if we were to hook into something scary. Let's just throw some rods in and see if, ooh, there's lots of choices. That's a cool boat. All right. All right, which which uh, which rods are we using here? So we want our big big ones. Um, if we're gonna try mollusk pieces, how many mollusk pieces do we have? Oh, we only have three. So I guess the next question is, can we uh, fish for mollusks here? Maybe on this one, we'll go with peas. Let's just see if any bream are biting here. And, all right, there's crayfish. So those are on blood worms or worm imitation. All right, so let's just put fish pieces in. I don't know if they're gonna be right here or not, but let's just try it. Let's just see. Yeah, and I don't know, okay. So there's like a little pond area back here. I'm not sure about at nighttime what would bite back there. Maybe carp. Um, that's where the turtles and stuff can be caught, I know, or at least that was my experience before. So we'll just give this a couple minutes, see if anything happens. If not, we can either venture out onto the main river, possibly out here, or we can go check out the pond and just start, you know, seeing what we can catch at night. There's some fish in front of us. But let's see if these catch anything. All right, how's the club going? We are level five. People have been getting some good club XP. It's very nice. Looks like three of us are online currently. kind of surreal that we are fishing in the Ukraine given all that's going on in the world right now. There's so many fish. So many fish here. I don't think I'm gonna to try to bronze this too quickly. I mean, all you can do is start knocking stuff off the list. There's some just really cool fish, but uh, stuff I've never heard of. It's amazing how many different species were added to this map. Some big Persian sturgeons. Percarina, that looks like a Donnett's Rough, kind of. Oh, that's a big fish and they like blood. So let's look real quick and see if any of these say nighttime.
What is the word for nighttime on fish with fish? Nocturnal? Is that what they would use in for, to, to talk about fish? I'm not sure. All right, let's see. Did we catch a mollusk here? I'm not sure that that's a mollusk. It's a crayfish. That's fine. It's also a bait. That is also a bait. So it, would it be nocturnal? I don't really see anything. I thought that there was, um, that you sometimes could see that indication on certain things in this game, but ooh, it was a leech and we got a Nightcrawler card. Well, if we're catching leech and crayfish tails here, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that we probably aren't going to also catch mollusk in the same place. Maybe, but... But they're somewhere else. Well, out of curiosity before we abandon this spot and go try something else let's throw out one of these All right, so what are the carp here? So wild carp, catch with nut, and there's just so many fish. I know that I saw carp. Oh, there's silver carp motley. Oh, interesting. Bait fish. Silver carp white. We know about those. And I'm just missing the carp. I think there is carp here too. Okay, maybe not. Maybe regular carp aren't here. Okay, it's clear this isn't doing anything, right? Just gonna get both bait fish in the water before we move spots just to see if anything bites here. Ooh, marsh turtle quest.
All right, let's see if this works. How would I... Why isn't that you were to see? How do I do this? How do I look up someone? So my profile is just, oh, that's it, I see. Okay, so how would I, I'm trying to see if somebody whispered you if you could invite them to the club from anywhere. But I obviously don't know how Oh wait, contacts. Search? Oh, hold on. That didn't work. That worked. Oh, that's going to work. I think that's going to work. I think that's going to work even though we're not on the same map maybe that does work all right hey guess what we're not catching anything here let's go try some stuff in the pond do we think there's do we think there's going to be wild carp in the pond area i'm going to say no but i could be wrong it looks like you could actually get the boat back here. Okay, we'll keep size one hook, I guess. And we'll try nut. I thought we had nut. Didn't we purchase nut? Oh, maybe you have to use size two size two or bigger for nut yep um we'll try lucky feeder let's just see if anything bites on this I don't know. I don't even know if they're active at night, you know? Okay, anything else back here that we think might be on the... That might be on the pond that would be big? I guess the, um, the silver carp white 
or the Silver Cart Motley. And it just looks like regular Techno Plants, which I'm not sure that I have regular. We'll see if they sell them here. And then on the third rod for now, let's just do a one hook with worms to start out. Just see if anything at all is biting at night right now, back here. Trying to see if this club invite works, even if we're not in the same place. It really should, but... All right, we're not catching anything on this worm so far. Uh, let's switch it to zero hook and blood worm. Just want to catch some fish. Maybe we do have to be in the same place. Oh, let me see. All right, maybe I need to do this again. Let me try this again. It says invitation sent. Boom. It worked. All right. All right. So that worked. All right, so what are we getting at night here? I mean, you'd think like Crucian and stuff like that would still be biting at night, you know? Oh, that's a bream. Oh, that's funny. The bream are back here. <clears throat> wow.
So it took a long time to get our first fish here, but I guess it was worth the wait. All right, so let's see if we found a little wild card. Again, we just want to start seeing what different things we can catch. We need to look at Silver Bream. So if Silver Bream are back here, I'm surprised we got one on a trophy on Bloodworm. But also, sometimes I fish with fish for Silver Bream with zero hook. I mean, sorry, with one hook, and we just caught that with a zero. I bet this is a small wild carp. It is. It is, it is. Alright, what is Hook'em fishing with? He's got a trophy loach and a trophy rammed. Alright, we knocked wild carp off the list, so let's see what else we want to do with that. Wild carp? No, I'm sorry. Rammed and um and what was the other thing? Was it loach? I can't remember now. I can look in in chat in just a second, but where are the rammed? This list is so big it's actually hard for me to find. What? Oh, it's the first one. All right, so probably either maggots or or um, maggots or grain. And what was the other thing he caught? Loach. So I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess maggot. Oops. I mean, does anything overlap with loach? Yeah, maggot. So probably maggot. Vobla on maggot. Yeah, I think he's using maggot. There's a rammed. Trophy silver bream. So that means there's overtime if it didn't. Yeah. yeah. Are they um going to start Duke, North Carolina on a different channel, you think, if they go to overtime? Um, or do you... There's another Silver Bream. Oh, I meant to check the records on Silver Bream. Oh, someone else. Oh, someone's called a Golden Crucian Trophy. Man, a lot of trophies coming out right now. So mayfly larva or mayfly. Not a huge surprise there. 
All right, where's the golden crucian? I bet we'll catch one any second now with the bait we're using, but again, just too big of a list. Oh, there it is. Oh, we've already caught one. Yeah, maggot. So probably on maggot. Uh-oh. Did we get one of the... This is the only reason why I thought about bringing a uh, boat back here is because going for these guys... Oh, that might be a wild carp, actually. That might be the only carp that's back here. Not the um, silvers. But we'll find out. I really like this place, though. I mean, just the pond itself is a blast. But there's so much to explore in this map. I mean, you could just look at it for a long time and still have new places that you haven't fished yet. All right, it's another wild carp. Got to decide if we want to... Maybe wild carp's what's active during the day. That doesn't mean that the others aren't back here. They could be. I do kind of want to bring our boat back here if we're going to fish for carp, just in case. I mean, I don't want to spend all day on one huge... One huge thing. Little roach. Let's see how the boat fits in up there. Right, is there anything quest wise that. Oh, yeah, we should do roach for the uh, supply. We could get rammed possibly done. We'll just keep an eye on it. For experience. But we definitely want to do the club supply. Uh-oh, it's not letting me in the boat for some reason. All right, let's see here. This is the nice boat. This is the boat where I think you can actually, yeah, you can go up on the deck and fish from the from the boat. All right, so we just want to see if this boat will fit in here. Maybe a smaller boat would have been better. We'll see. Wait, am I wrong? That's not the right spot. Oh, it's right through there. I got you. Boat's so slick. I mean, honestly, it's actually going to be hard to control this boat back here. We should have gotten even just like a rowing boat, but we'll make we'll make do. Is this where our stuff is set up? No, it's at the next one, right? I wonder if I can even get out here. We might need to set it up over at the... Yeah, we can't get out here. It's like mistakes were made with this size boat back here.
seems like um, let's try fish pieces back here seems like the um, blood worms were really slow compared to maggots we got several fish on maggots before blood worm but the blood worms did catch us the trophy gold uh, trophy silver bring This is interesting. What is this? I wonder what we're catching on fish pieces. It's got a little size to it back here. Oh, it's a turtle. There's the marsh turtle. It doesn't seem like the whole tax thing is, um, I mean, people in the club, at least that are logged in right now, are saying that they don't mind it, but I also, I also don't get the feeling that it's motivating to people, like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get all the club points. So I think after this first week, I'm just going to turn it off. It just seems weird. Seems weird to me. But we'll let it play out this week. And, you know, a little bit of silver will go out to the people that produce the most points. And then once it resets, I'll just, um, I'll just take it off. Oh, there's a little bluegill. So, these rammed are small. Sometimes it seems like, I'm wondering if rammed would actually be more common if we were using, um, float I don't know why I think that went back when Ukraine was the old way I feel like I caught more rammed on float but that might have been because there was a tournament to do it on float and so that's just what I'm remembering I'm not sure Large loach. Well, we have knocked a few fish off the lake, to be fair. Like maggots does seem like a good way to do that. I wonder if there's Vimba right here. Go ahead and knock that off. This is a carp species, bloodworm.
Oh, wait. Put that towards the quest. I think that's the only thing we can put towards a quest. I was going to go see how much some of this stuff sells for. Twenty six for the trophy, one seventeen for everything. Twenty two for the little bitty wild carp. Marsh turtle not too bad. Silver wise. That's what we want, some little mollusks. Ooh, what's this? There it is, the Vobla. Just not doing anything on this. All right, let's put this up for now. Let's see if there happens to be. leak right here we can also go closer to the weeds or something might catch a random frog frogs here too right yeah
Ooh, a large rammed. Yeah, we'll take that towards the quest. Alright, let's try... Back to Bloodworms. Alright, did we get a bleak or we get a frog? Frog. Alright, that's fine. I want to go up to this other spot. This is where I fished on my main account at the pond. Oh, look at this area here. Look at these bleak spots, huh? Possibly. But yeah, just like all in this area. Of course, this is where I first caught a turtle was like up around in this spot. I almost want to try one with maggots with a slightly larger hook. See what that does, if anything. It might slow the bite rate down too much, but I'm just curious. All right, I'll be right back. Perfect timing. Is it a bleak? Oh goodness, look at this. It's a big old frog. Yeah, the hook, uh, the hook size might have just slowed the maggots down too much. I don't know how much else would be back here. Maybe a Chinese sleeper.
Tench might be back here. Well, we could do mollusk pieces back here, I guess. Let's just try that real quick. Oh, it's too heavy. I didn't notice. It's actually just too heavy. I was like, why am I not throwing this? The bluegill. Huh. I don't know about bleak back here. This might not be the spot. Oh, so you can actually see what club members are catching in club chat. That's cool. All right, we're at 17 kilos. I feel like we need to start maybe going for a little bit larger fish somehow. If we want to finish this daily in a reasonable amount of time. We're almost at an hour already. This might have to be a part two or something later. Um, but I'm not sure what I want to do, like where we want to go. We could try out here. Maybe that's the play. Well, let's put just worms in first. Like it took a minute for the game to catch up to what we did. Can we use mollusk pieces with a zero hook? Like I'm just guessing we can't, but let's double check that. Has to be at least a one. What else is attention? Worm. I mean, you got to believe that it, it's at least possible to get tinch back here. That's cool.
right. Alright, are we getting pretty full in the club now? Yeah, we're getting there. Oh! Hey, it let me do that this time. Last time it wasn't working. Okay, cool. Alright, we've got five more spots now. Very nice. I don't like how many perch we're catching on worm. I don't want to catch just perch. see what this is worm gets another chance yeah I kind of want to see a Chinese sleeper I, I mean we could put in some fake worm or whatever that is if that's oh it's another perch actually kind of do want to go get one of those imitation worms and try it back here Maybe the perch won't like that as much. If we don't have a tent yet, then I might just switch off of it. Oh, are there grass carp here too? This is a daggum turtle. A large one. Maybe that'll be worth some decent silver. Because the regular one was like 20, wasn't it? Excuse me, sorry, I couldn't make it to my mute button in time. Yeah, it looks like people are catching grass carp here. So that might be something we should target back here if we want to knock it off the list. How did I miss grass carp? Oh, it's right here. Oh, okay. <coughs> Thank you. Okay. Well, before we do that, let's try... Um, 
Let's try the imitation turtle, of turtle, imitation worm. What was it that the sleepers liked? Which color was it? Mm, the red, it looks like. Does that work with zero? Yeah. I don't really want it that close. Put a little ground bait on it. I have a feeling those are going to be somewhat slow bite rate, but I could be wrong. Uh, we're hitting the loach now. Wait, what if we go with a one? Oh, wait, never mind. We're wanting to do. Oh, it's too heavy. Do we think they're going to be over here? Maybe. Oh, we got an imitation worm fish on. Right? What the small? We actually have caught a good many of those now that it's daytime. The Voblas. All right, we'll see what this is and we might bounce off of this. I just kind of wanted to see what the imitation worm would catch. Is that a turtle? No, it's a blue bluegill, right? Huh. to see did we find a grass carp any of the silvers yeah it's it's not a wild carp so it's going to be a new type of carp for us one way or another right it actually kind of looks like the motley doesn't it I don't remember exactly what grass carp look like in this game. No, that is a grass carp. Okay. 
Let's try it again. Goodness. This will be. We got a little bigger hook, some lucky ground bait, and we're using worm. Oh, I think we. Wait. Oh, maybe not. I can't tell. Uh, it's a crucian. I thought we might have hit a tench there. A tiny tench. Go see how we're doing. Oop. It's another one of those Volba things. Vobla. Thirty-eight. Yeah, that was a thirty silver turtle. Actually, more than the grass carp. We're pushing towards nine grand, nine nine k. We've probably made more like I don't know. I don't know exactly how much we've actually made. I got really. When we were when we sold those VIP cards in the auction house, it really confused me. We definitely made some silver off of that. Probably several thousand, but not like not all of it. I mean, we also dipped into our own silver when we did the club, so it's just kind of confusing. I don't know exactly where we would have been without that second VIP card. Why don't we move this one just kind of out in the middle, maybe? Just see if we can get another grass carp or some type of carp back here. What level are we? Almost 19 and a half. And we'll get 300 silver, just about 300 silver for finishing this daily. We'll finish it eventually, whether it's probably won't be before we got to stop this video, but we will get it eventually. And then, I don't know, see how tonight goes. I might do another episode. I'd really like to do the, um, the USA. I was really wanting to do this anyway. To go for the bluegill there on the um, bait fish. 
it's expensive to buy the bait fish, but you can catch the bait fish in the exact same spot. And it seems like some of the fish, small fish even, you catch on the bait fish are actually worth a good bit of silver. So, um, yeah, I'm just kind of curious about that. So I'd kind of like to try that anyway. It might be a pretty good way to make some silver if you're new to the game, but if you have the DLC map for the US, it just depends on how, how much you can dodge the big fish. If you start hooking into big fish, then it could become a problem. But if with a small hook size, if you can pretty much just get the, the smaller species, then it could be pretty lucrative, I think. I want to, I want to try it. And obviously there's a lot more here we need to, we need to catch. Although we've done better than I thought we would on the first go. I didn't realize how many of these fish was going to, we're going to be back here in the pond area. These turtles swim so funny, so fast, and the animation on them, it doesn't really look like they move their legs or anything in the water. So it's just like a static, it's kind of funny looking. For the grass carp, we might should try farther down or even up here in this area. It's a little deeper there. All right, let's move down, see what's going on down a little farther. Is there another spot to fish from? Yeah, that might have been the one. Let's see. Is this a little area here? This might be okay too. Why didn't we see a depth there? All right, there we go. Kind of want to recast it. Okay, there we go. Is there a reason why we're not catching roach at all back here? That seems weird. Um, maybe we need to switch baits if we want to try to get that supply quest. Uh, 
Alright, let's look. Must have just been the areas. I mean, for how many fish we've caught to not have seen roach more often? You would think maggots, if the roach are here, they'd be pulling in roach. Among all the other things too, potentially, but. All right. So the roach are down here. For some reason they weren't active up at the top, but they're down here. See if we get lucky here and knock something else off the list. It may just be another grass carp, but. Oh, I don't know. Is a grass carp.
A rud. I don't think we had had a rud here yet. Uh oh. This may just be an area where the grass carp are, not so much where the other, um, you know, it's, the, the other types of carp might be just in different areas. I'm not sure. I mean, again, there are just so many spots. All right, well, yeah, we'll finish this quest in a couple of fish. All right, so let's go ahead and wrap this up here. And um, yeah, we'll see. I kind of do want to, uh, we may record another session tonight. We'll see how it goes. But um, as always, thanks for watching. And uh, I will see you next time. Tight lines, everybody.